Hiya, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails and in this video I'm going to be working on some pretty bit of nails. I'm trying not to nail shame Katie because it has been a while, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> this is the first time I've been able to work on an actual person after lockdown and this is what we've got. But like I said, we're, we're working with it. So I'm going to show you how to fit tips to bit of nails and how to fit forms to bit of nails as well because we might have to do a few of these at the minute so <coughs> oh dear so i have got the natural plush tip so i'm going to do this first to show you how to do it so you need to look through and size your tips as you normally would so i already know i've cheated i already know that katie's ring finger is a seven. Let me move this box out so you can see. So as you see, when you press the tip down to get the contact area to stick in the in the lowest part to actually stick onto the nail, the wings at the top come right up and go into a skin. So obviously we can't have that there. We need to get rid of those bits. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's a pretty good fit. If I put it here, you can see it will match the edge, but you've really got to push it down. So the tip flares out at the top too much, so it's not, it's too small. But on this one, it's all right. So what we're gonna have to do is get rid of the wings at the top so that it can actually fit on a nail and not on a skin. So I'm going to chop these wings right off. So I'm going to move your hand out of the way so we can see. So to get the bottom of the, well, I want to call it smile, we'll call it smile. So to get the bottom of the smile to actually stick onto the nail, we basically need to cut away the whole of the top of the wings to get it to be level. So I'm going to chop the whole lot off. I'm going to put it against my glove so you can see. And do the same on the other side. So now it's basically pretty much flat. You've got a tiny little V, but it's pretty much flat. And I'm going to check and just see if that'll work or if it's still going to stick into a skin. So it really sticks into the skin a tiny little bit. So I'm going to come back and cut off these outer corners and round it slightly. And now check again. That is looking much better. But I am going to file it. Move your hand back. Because your tip does dip down slightly here when it's coming to the contact area. So I need to file that up because it's still going into a skin. Because we've got just such a tiny little bit of nail to work with. Sorry. <laughs> we need to she's file a that kidney, It really is a tiny little nail. It really is tiny. <laughs> I'll nail shame. I'll nail shame. It's fine. Yeah. No, I was saying we're not going to nail shame poor okay. Casey because it's not your fault. It's we're blaming COVID, aren't we? Like Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. Yeah. Boris Johnson. It's his fault. So yeah, but you've just you've just ate them all, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. There's no other way to put it. So now that sticks on, we can stick it onto her little bit of nail and it's not going to go right into her skin round the sides. So that is good for me. So I'm going to get my glue and attach it on. So I've held it for a few seconds and now I'm just going to use my thumb to hold down the sides. Chop the length and there we are, ready to rock and roll. So now I will show you how to fit a form. So I'm going to use the pink classic forms for this. Take one off. So I'm going to remove the tab because we need this with a bit of nail. Um, and I'm going to stick it. So ordinarily, if you were sticking on your tab on your form, you'd stick it underneath the cutout. Um, I tend not to, but that's another story. So you'd stick it down there. But because we have got no nail <laughs> and 
because she's been it's so far down we've got this bulb of skin here and the nails right up here and it's just straight so if you were to stick this on like that you're gonna have a massive gap so let me bend that around I don't know how well you're going to see the line on the camera but basically her nail line is up here so all this bit down here in this v-shape that's actually a skin so obviously we don't want to just build out the nail right onto a skin so I'm going to use this tab and I'm going to stick it further up so then you have got a straight line in here rather than that nice sort of deep cut out that we normally have we've got a straight line across and that straight line is going to mimic the straight line of Katie's nail. So I'm going to stick the tabs together at the end, open the back and then you can stick it up here and the straight line that you've created matches the end of a nail. And then you always need to make sure you really pull it right down underneath. Now normally if I was doing normal nails, um, I would stick all the forms on one hand and that would be perfectly fine but when I'm working on nails like this I only do one at a time because they can pop off and move slightly and then it's just an absolute nightmare so if you do one as I'm working as well I pinch right underneath and I hold it underneath pinching the bottom of the finger to hold it in place where I want it then I'll build this nail out and then I'll fit the form on the other ones and just go one by one so it can take a little bit longer but it's worth it and that is how I fit my forms on a really bitter nail. So that is it. I hope you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.